Yo. It's that Mark Talk Radio. You already know. Jeff Minarski in the house. Let's go. Life Pim, Mike Gore, just voice in the air, telling tales of the mob. Uh, like we were there, late night sessions. Secrets we uncover from the legend in the shadows to the unsung bro. Every broadcast a lesson and glimpse of the cold. Oh, from the underworld stories that have been told. Mob dog, get real, just bringing up the heat from the streets to the right. We ain't never miss a beat. Listen close, just know this game ain't fake and sweet. Mob talk, Jeff and us, we control the seat. Mob talk, get real, just bring up the heat from the streets to the right. We ain't never miss a beat. Listen close, just know this game ain't fake and sweet. Mob talk, Jeff and us, we control the seat. Two in every week, Jeff talking about the life deep inside. From the dogs to the trail, like secret they can find. Stories of the streets, no respects a heavy price. This is Mom Talk Radio, baby, that you be advised. Huh? Echoes from the shadows, the truth they don't deny. Chef here with the tannins from the corners to the sky. Underworld whispers, angels, stormy state of life. Through the eyes of legends, you see the struggle and the strife. With their golden mic in hand, he paints the picture clear. The rise and fall of empires, the power and the fear. With their golden mic in hand, he paints the picture clear. The rise and fall of empires, the power and the fear. Mob talk, get real, just bringing up the heat from the streets to the right. We ain't never miss a beat. Listen close, just know this game ain't fake and sweet. Mob talk, checking us, we control the seat. Mob talk, get real, just bring up the heat from the streets to the right. We ain't never miss a beat. Listen close, just know this game ain't fake and sweet. Mob talk, checking us, we control the seat. Two in every week, Jeff talking about the life deep inside. From the dogs to the trails, like secret they can find. Five. And welcome to uh, Mob Talk Radio. Uh, so, long time no see. Uh, things are uh, going well over here. Uh, but there is a reason why I'm coming on today. Uh, and listen, it's one of those things where you weigh the pros and the cons uh, of what you want to do. Uh, because at the end of the day, I don't really derive anything from going at anybody, but there comes a time where there's a line that gets crossed. And today was that day. There's been plenty of days like that. But anyway, uh, for those that have been waiting for my book, I believe it is going to be out in January. We will be talking about this in the next couple of probably weeks. Uh, but it will be out, I believe, in January, if not the first week in February. It's a done deal. Looking forward to it. Uh, the haters really won't, uh, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter what anybody really thinks at the uh, the uh, end of the day, so to speak. All right, so uh, let me just pull up my little thing here. All right, uh, so I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, this like I, this is not something I wanted to do today, but there's just some stuff that's been said and, and been going on that I just want to address. Just because you don't see me every day don't mean I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, a lot of people reach out and tell me stuff. I don't want to know about it, but it is what it is. So while I've been busy wrapping up the book, obviously, uh, the last two or three days I was inundated. Uh, with some stuff that just truly blows my mind. 
uh, this entire mob genre has really become a saturated uh, uh, cesspool with low lives, gospers, and jerk offs. Now, I'm not talking about everybody because there are some people that are doing good stuff. Uh, James Proctor does good stuff. Uh, Jacob Stoops does good stuff. Uh, there's a lot of people that are putting out good quality. I, you know, guys, I don't agree with RJ on much, but I mean, he's doing his own thing. Uh, and there's really, like I said, only a handful of people who really are covering mob content and doing it very well. Jeff Nadu is not one of those people. <laughs> uh, and I have to say, this is not going to come a shock to him or anybody else. I've never liked him and I never will. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, and I've stated those reasons for years, proved the reasons why. And I'm not going to do that here. Uh, nothing, nothing has changed. He's a very jealous boy. Uh, he doesn't like anybody who's better at mob genre than him. It's sort of a Napoleon complex, but I think Napoleon was a little taller than him. Not by much. Uh, I don't watch his show, but let me be blunt. Uh, I don't know what his numbers are or aren't, whether he bought subs or not. Like, I don't care about any of that. Uh, what I can say is this. How anyone covers the subject uh, is their own business. How he does his show is his business. But when you go too far, somebody has to reel you in for your own stupidity. And that's where we're at today. Uh, the other day, uh, he was on his show. And, well, uh, it's very, uh, it's upsetting. He told people, and specifically Joy Farachi, whose brother was murdered by Sammy Gravano, to just get over it. Get over his murder. Stop talking about it. Uh, number one, I know Joy Farachi personally. I have for years. Uh, before all of you were running around screaming, Alan Kaiser, it was me and Angel Gotti. We were the only two along with Joy that were doing it. Everybody else wanted to jump on the bandwagon, and I get it. And I'm not saying that people don't have a right to discuss it, but they don't know Joy. And they really don't even know the case for that matter. But I know Joy, Angel knows Joy, and for years it was just the three of us talking about Alan Kaiser. Nobody else would. But that's what we did for years. Uh, the fact that I know joy and my heart breaks for her and her family, I, I, you know, I don't know what that feels like, but I take this more personal than a lot of other people would because I actually know her. I care about her feelings, obviously, and we've been friends for years. And so when somebody says something just repulsive like that, I'm, I'm going to respond to that. She's been through a lot. For Spanky to even say that, it's just, it's pretty absurd and repulsive. Number one, do you have any tact? Do you have any standards left? Do you just say ignorant shit because you have no fucking self-esteem? Does it make you feel like a big guy or feel better to say this kind of shit on YouTube? Does it make you feel big? You think that that magically allows you to ride the big boy rides at the amusement park, don't you? You're never going to ride the big rides at the amusement park. Amusement park. There's a height restriction. All this is is a spoiled, rotten bastard who says bitter things about everybody because he hates himself. Anyone secure in their own manhood wouldn't need to pick on a woman or bark about a victim of a senseless murder. And it truly shows the value that you have on others and yourself when you do that. That's right. And I know you're going to say it. I heard what you said about John Favara and Nikki Guido. And those are fair points. But maybe not everybody knows about those two people. Did you know John Favara was a drunk? Did you know that he repeatedly drove drunk down the street? Did you know that? Did you know he threw a party after the accident? Did you know he didn't even bother to wipe down the car after the accident? Do you know he still drove drunk even after that? You don't tell your audience that. And I know what you're going to say. Yeah, but, but whatever happened to him didn't deserve to happen. Probably. 
And I'm not going to justify that. But you're also not a parent, thank God. So you have no bearing on what catastrophic events can make a human being do. But you're also blaming somebody very specifically uh, for that action and taking it out on someone related to that person. And that's low-life shit. That's just low-life shit. You seem to cater to fucking rats. Uh, And do you know that these rats told the feds that John Gotti told everybody to leave it the fuck alone? Did you know that? Did did, In all your years of research, did you ever come across any of that? No, because you don't look for it, number one. But what anybody else does, opposite of what they're told to do, is not on that human being. Once again, not justifying it. But you're pointing fingers at people. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, come on. You know, you even know the story, blah, blah, blah. Listen, stories are stories. Without uh, without proof, without a conviction, you're not going to hear me say nothing. But don't point at somebody's daughter. Don't point at somebody's daughter to try to level that at her because you don't like her. That's not even right. I don't care who you are. It's not right. Alan Kaiser did nothing wrong. Meanwhile, you're the one who had a child killer on your show. That says more about you than the act itself. You're more concerned with getting the scoop from a low-life fucking degenerate motherfucker than you are about doing the right fucking thing, and that's on you. So would you bring on a rapist if they had mafia ties? Of course you would. How about a child killer with mob ties? Well, you've done that. Did you bring on a rapist if they were in the mafia? You probably would. You have no scruples. Telling somebody's sister to get over it is heartless. And that's what bullies and cowards do and say when they're bitter little piss ants just like you. You wouldn't like it if somebody said that about your loved ones, would you? Oh, no, that would send you into orbit. I suggest you just apologize to Joy. Can you imagine what it's like to see the same fucking human filth bag that killed your brother on YouTube every day lying and blaming that murder on the victim? Do you know how that would feel? Do you even know what that's like? No, you don't, because it's all about the attention that you get from fucking rats. That's what's important to you. The numbers. The views. And this is like one of the most scummiest fucking things I've ever seen on YouTube. And trust me, there's plenty of scummy shit going around. Lastly, and most importantly, you spoke today about somebody I know very, very well. I don't care what kind of mob delusions you have. It's not right. Regardless of what people think about me or any friendships that I may have, may have had, or whatever, there is a line that people should not cross. And you're doing that by bringing up the guy's mother. It has no relevance, no bearing. As well, you mentioned Bent Finger Lou, go fuck himself, Monticello. You want him on your show now. How fitting. How surprising. Let me tell you something, pal. You're a fucking low life. An utter low life. You want to talk about the mob? Go right the fuck ahead. But leave wives, children, and mothers the fuck out of your nonsense fairy tales and gossip. Because that's all you spread is gossip. What kind of animal, what kind of low life, what kind of swamp thing does that? Do you never want to cover FBI misdeeds? Nope. It's always whatever Scott Bernstein says is right. Whatever I hear from jerk-offs and lunatics, that's got to be the case. Or whatever George Anastasia or Dave Schratweiser posts three seconds later, you come on and announce it as news when you're not even the one that broke it. That's just the truth. Nine times out of ten, you're wrong about everything. Thank God. Why don't you ask the real questions like why Anthony fucking Apanick was placed in a fucking cell wired up trying to get a guy jammed up. Ask questions like that. Now, you don't even know who Anthony fucking Apanick is, do you? Why don't you ask that slender fucking rat motherfucker, Lou, why he had no problem taking money 
his whole life from people till he gets arrested. Then he wants to tell on everybody. Why don't you ask him why he couldn't take a simple pinch? Why don't you speak up for the families of guys that he put away with known lies? Go read the indictment. Go pay for the transcripts and get the minutes and read them. Read them to your audience and tell them the truth. You won't do that because it's lazy bullshit work that you do. If it ain't Wikipedia, it's whatever else. Pay for the documents. The bottom line for me is I don't care if you talk about people I know. I really don't or new or whatever the case. I, I, I don't care. But what I do care about is the fucking truth. And you wouldn't know the truth if it blasted its fucking balls across your hydrocephalic chin. And I tell you to grow up, but I think three foot six is about the extent of your vertical abilities. I don't fucking like you. And I think you know that. But have some fucking decency for once in your goddamn life. Have some decency. Have some decorum. Mark my word, I'm just telling you the God's honest truth because apparently you you can be the guy that sees the stop sign and just keeps blowing through it saying, well, I'm fucking, I'm going to take my chances. I'm telling you the truth. Call me fucking Christian, uh, Kreskin, what it was, because uh, uh, this is exactly what's going to happen to you. One of these days, you are going to cross paths with somebody you do not want to cross paths with and they're going to remember everything you said. And without hesitation, they are going to teach you all about gossiping and lying and the ramifications for that. It's a fact, a certifiable fact. Write it down. In fact, here's a challenge. Since you're such the, such the motherfucking tough guy that you are, I want you to go down to Ninth and Catherine. I want you to rent a little milk crate. You know, this way people can actually see you. And I want you to spew this bullshit there. You won't do it. Because you're a fucking coward. Nothing more, nothing less. Like I said, talk all your shit about me you want. Do 15 shows. I really don't give a fuck. That's not the point of this. Leave mothers, wives, children, grandchildren. Grand just leave people's families out of your bullshit. You want to talk about the history of organized crime? Go ahead and do it. I don't give a fuck. But don't lie about people. Don't fucking invent shit. And leave somebody's mother the fuck out of your mouth. That's going too far. Because if you're going to do it, then I guess it should be done to you. And I don't agree with that. I, I just don't agree with that type of stuff. But you think because a guy has been arrested, did a little time, that gives you the God-given right to talk shit about his family, his wife, his brother, his mother. You have no fucking common decency. None. But believe me, that ship is going to come into port at some point. And all you'll do is run and call the cops because that's all you're about. That's all you're about. That's all you've ever been about. And I've had it. I've had it. Either have some decency or just stop. Just stop every other week. Oh, I don't want to get involved in drama no more. Every other week, it's, oh, I don't want to fight with Angel Gotti no more. Every other week, it's, I don't want to fight with this one and that one. And then you say stupid shit. Or you stab people in the back. Or you run your fucking mouth. Or you talk about this guy's wife, this guy's daughter. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? I would tell you to be a bigger man than that but we all know that that's not possible take it easy everybody <laughs>